Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Manny and today I've got a follow along workout you can do at home, no equipment required. This will help get you nice and strong in your quads and glutes for running and help avoid things like runner's knee. We'll get stuck in in a sec, but first, please subscribe to The Running Channel and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos all about running. Let's go. First things first, we need to warm up. Really nice and slowly, all you're going to do is you're gonna start taking some lunges, alternating sides. At the moment, don't worry about what happens to your front knee and just keep lunging forward, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a total of 12 of these. Really nice. You can use your arms to balance if you need to. This should feel nice and relaxed. When you're moving forward, don't worry about the depth. Everybody's different. Perfect. Now, we're gonna continue standing in the position we are in. So I'll be facing this way. We're gonna take a small step forward. You can choose you which foot you use. I'm gonna use my left leg this time. With my back foot, my, toe, my heels coming off the ground and I'll be resting on my toes. Now, I'm going to directly bring my knee down towards the ground and this front knee must not go over my toes. What should happen is you feel that these muscles are working and we come back up. That's number one. Let's do eight of these. We can now use our arms into this movement. Three, four, good. Two more. Last one. Perfect. Now switch feet. Exactly the same. Eight repetitions. So, really think about that front knee. Staying nice and controlled. If at home, like me, you're doing it on this mat, you might find it a little bit harder. It's on this unstable surface, so your foot has to work a little bit harder. Good, keep going. Last one. Now, we're now gonna move on to our side plank, okay? Side plank's great at working our gluteal muscles, okay? All we're gonna do, <coughs> have a lie on our side. <coughs> so the key with this exercise, we're trying to work the muscle underneath, closest to the floor. Your elbow is underneath your shoulder trying to make a straight line with your body, okay? So, you lift up, keeping your knees together. Ensure that your hip comes forward as far as you feel comfortable. Squeeze that gluteal muscle on the bottom. And back down, okay? And let's try another eight of these if we can. Good. Cut. And five. Excellent. So really squeeze from those hips. Perfect. And we'll switch sides. Bend both those knees. Nice straight line. Squeeze your hips forward as much as you can. Should be feeling it just here underneath. Good. Keep working hard. Good. If you can't get to eight, you can break this up into sections. Have a break and come back. That's number eight. 
so for our next set of exercises, we're going to need a chair. So I'm just gonna go and grab one. Okay, now we've got the chair, we are going to move on to our two next exercises. The chair will be useful for us to use as an external cue. The first exercise is called a single leg squat. Everyone will be different at trying to accomplish this. So don't worry, take your time. I'm gonna show you the entry level and then as you get better, you can move on different stage, to the different stages, okay? First things first, you need your chair. You'll be standing on one leg. The entry level, you're just gonna come down as far as you feel comfortable. That might be quarter of the way, it might be halfway, and then you're gonna come up to the top. That's the first stage of that exercise. There is another intermediate middle level. You might need to just come down to the bottom and use two legs to stand up. If you want to go to the more advanced level, you come down and all the way back up. I'm gonna try the advanced and I'm gonna go for 10 repetitions with this exercise on each leg. If at any point you feel very tired and you feel you can't do any more, have a break and continue the program. So, it's one, Good. Keeping your chest up. Keep looking forward if you can. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just put your foot down. Start again. Keep breathing. Good. So you should be feeling it here. Also your gluteal muscles and your hamstrings. That's 10. Switch sides now. As you do this and you move smoothly and quickly, your breathing might increase. That's okay also. One leg might feel different. And what that tells us is maybe there's a slight imbalance. I definitely feel a little bit more tired on this side. Ooh, there we go. 10 on each side. So that was working our quadricep muscles, hamstrings and gluteal muscles. Next up, what we want to do is, again, using our chair, I'm gonna do something called a single leg bridge exercise. This will, increase the focus on our gluteal muscles on our hamstrings. All you're going to do is you're going to have a lie down. <clears throat> With this one, we're going to do eight repetitions. We want to make sure our foot is resting on the chair and we have about a 20 degree bend in our knees, okay? And we can start if we don't feel confident we can start with both legs on the chair. If you do feel confident, you can start with a single leg. I'll show you what both of those look like. So, arms across your chest for me so we don't try and use them for support. You're gonna lift your hips up, pushing through your heels on the chair. The key thing here is you feel it in your hamstrings, and your gluteal muscles, okay? This is about the height we want you to, to raise your hips to. If we raise our hips too much, we might sometimes feel some discomfort in our back, okay? And back down. If you feel confident and you want to use one leg, that's what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna continue doing one leg, single leg bridge on my left side. So one repetition done, we're gonna do seven more. Two, three, four, five, good. Six. 
Seven, good. Last one. Excellent. Ooh, so that hamstrings really worked. Feeling good. Now, we're gonna switch sides. Keep breathing through the movement. Try not to hold your breath. Halfway there. Big push, big push. Ooh, that was hard work. Hamstrings are really on fire and they've been working. So really good. If you did it with two legs, great. Everybody has a different level and it's important for us to build and start where we are, okay? Thanks so much for following along with that, guys. Any other workouts or follow-alongs that you want to see, do let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time on The Running Channel. Have fun out there, guys.